The making of Volvador. All right, here I am on the internet looking for some vaginas and doors. Found my favorite door. I'm gonna put it in After Effects. I'm gonna use some liquify to vaginify that door. A lot of great tools in After Effects for vaginifying doors. Mm-hmm. All right, now we're gonna clean up this clitoris here. I'm gonna shade it. Do I go to the Photoshop? Nope, just gonna use the paintbrush tool right inside of After Effects. Gonna go ahead and turn down the flow and opacity and just shade in a little bit of uh, trees and bushes over here. Look at that, great. Gonna find a better door. Okay, I think I like this door. Damn it, Johnny, I told you to stop drawing on the goddamn furniture. I'm gonna have to clone stamp this now. Oh, that was actually really easy. All right, flip it, mask it, corner pin, nice. Uh, could I get this tatted on my uh, door, please? Yeah, no problem, just gonna resize it. Uh, gonna have to use the Luma key to get rid of the white. But actually, I meant engrave. <sighs> All right, for that, we're gonna need to take a copy of the wood and set the tat to be the mat. Then we're gonna take that wooden badge tat mat and pre-compose that. All you ladies pop your pussy like this By adding a bevel and embossed layer style to the top layer Then you roll The wood grain to contour along with the vag tat mat by placing a displacement map Alright, that's so much better Nobody's gonna notice Next, squeeze, color correct with curves, and mask it How are you guys doing with your vagina doors? Following along so far? Great I'd like extra thick now go ahead and make that door 3D, duplicate it, and pre-compose the two. Now that we're in a three-dimensional void, we can push the back layer back a little bit and darken it. Yes! All right, we're gonna need two of these doors, so let's duplicate it and spin it 180 degrees on the Y-axis. No, wait, that doesn't work at all. Let's just, uh, let's give it a negative scale on the X-axis. Now all we have to do is add a potentially contentious metaphor in the pre-comp. Let's just place it in the middle, mask it, and warp it a little bit. Back out in the main composition, let's go ahead and mask out those ugly old vagilist doors and place our nice new ones right behind it. We'll do some final touch-ups with adjustment layers and curves to make sure the walls match the doors if you know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I was gonna say what do you think, but I think I know what you think. Oh, this is your house! Yes. Oh my god, it's so different! <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. All right, another job well done. Wait, what? If you wanted to do some sparkle magic is happening and the doors are opening type thing, that would be cool. Damn it, that would be cool. All right, let's just scour the internet for some magic is happening. Ah, these all suck. Uh, we'll do it live! Fuck it! All right, let's go ahead and put CC Particle World on a solid. <laughs> I don't know about that, you know what I'm saying? It looks kind of like, a, you know what I'm saying? You know, it looks kind of like... Yeah, that. I think stars might be a little bit more our vibe. Nice. Let's go ahead and animate the position of the emitter. Never mind, animating the emitter sucks. Let's animate a null instead. <laughs> totally tripped out spiral, dude. Some fancy expressions to link the position of the emitter to the null, some fancy keyframes to make it sparkle, whiz, bang, pop, yay! <laughs> what joy, a vulvador. <laughs> Why did I make this? I have no idea.